Tottenham remain your leaders over the top in the Premiership, of course, but Man City are still breathing down the necks. What's going to go on this weekend? And will Ten Hag get the sack? That's all to be decided. Coming at you, and it's coming at you from a car. And next. That's right, folks. Back once again with another prediction video. Today, we take a look at match number 11 in this year's Premier League. And we'll get to that in just one second. If you're new, where you've been, smash your subscribe button, bang with the old things Premier League related, Blab and Rose related, world football related. We've got it all here, boys and girls, in a bloody car. That's right, of course. Spurs lead the charge. Arsenal are in second. City, though, are in third. With Liverpool not too far away. And, of course, going down, it is, of course, what we're looking at. Saf Sheffield United, Burnley, of course. <laughs> And Luton Town going down. But of course, will that be the case this coming weekend? We'll take a little look at it. All of it in a second. A big, big shout out to my VIPs. They are the patrons. Of course, you know who you are. And again, make sure you subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. A whopping 78% of you are not subscribed, of course. Doesn't matter when we're in a car or not. Get that like, smash your subscribe. And of course, let's get on with it. Uh, take a little look at how we all got on last time around, then, shall we? Here we go, recapping the results uh, for mine anyway. Of course, uh, Spurs picking up a 2 1 win over Crystal Palace. I went with a 3 1 win. Not too shabby on that one. Me while Brentford did pick up a 2-0 win over uh, uh, Chelsea. I went the other way. Uh, Bournemouth uh, uh, picked up a 2-1 win over Burnley. I went with a 1-0 win myself. Arsenal, 5-0 win over Sheffield United. I went with a 3-0 win. We went Newcastle United. Struggling on this one, guys. Struggling to see here. Yes. Newcastle United, 2-2 draw against Wolves. I went with a 3-1 win myself. West Ham uh, did lose to Everton. Big win for them. 1-0 win. I went with a 2-0 win myself. Aston Villa, 3-1 win as a balloon. I went with a 4-0 win. Brighton could only draw against Fulham. I went with a 2-1 win. Liverpool, 3 0 winners over Forest. Got them on spot on the nose. And City, 3 0 win over Manchester United. I went with a 3 1 win in the end. Of course, that's that. Uh, of course, the table looks like this Spurs, Arsenal, City, and then Liverpool, uh, with uh, Villa not too far away. Going down, Luton Town, Burnley, and then Sheffield United. Now, this is part of the show where you would uh, take a little look at the Super Brew. But guess what, guys? We're in a bloody car. That's not going to happen. So, we're going to bring you bang up to date with that next time around. We are looking forward to the next round of games, which are these ones. Uh, a couple of standouts, including Spurs against Chelsea. What else do we have? We have uh, Everton Brighton, which also be quite tasty, and a must win game for company against Crystal Palace. Those are the games, but these are my big predictions coming at you right here right now with the first one. It is Brentford, it is West Ham United, and of course, it's coming at you this coming weekend. So let's get into it. Of course, uh, coming at you from the community stadium, and these two sides have played each other uh, seven times in 2020. We've got four wins for Brentford, three wins for West Ham, zero draws. Biggest win for Brentford, 2 0 win. Uh, they've got nine goals in seven matches, 1.29 goals a game. I guess West Ham, their biggest win, a 1-0 win. They've got five goals in seven matches, 0.71 goals a game. Two wins in the last six, though, for the Hammers right now. 42% form for them. Uh, they are ninth for the table with 14 points on the board. I guess Brentford, 42% uh, form for them. Back-to-back -back wins, though. 10 for the table and 13 points right now. Last round at the Community Stadium was a 2 win for Brentford back in May 2023. Uh, of course, but the odds right here right now, we're looking at Brentford 11-10 for the victory, 9-4. Sorry, 5-2 is a draw. 5-2 is also your away win here. We are going with a cheeky 2-1 away win for the Hammers here. Surprise, surprise. Against the runner play, you would imagine. Next up, we do have Burnley. Crystal Palace must win for the six-fingered Freakazoids. And it's coming at you from third more. Now, these two sides have pitched 36 times since the year 2000. 12 wins for Burnley, 11 wins for Palace, 13 draws. Of course, biggest win for Burnley, 3-0 win. They've got 40 goals in those 36 matches, 1.11 goals a game. Up against Burnley, biggest win. Up against Palace, biggest win for them, 5-0 win. They've got 44 goals in 36 matches, 1.22 goals a game, of course. Uh, Palace coming to us on back-to-back -back defeats. 33% form for them over the last six. They are 13th with 12 points on the board, of course. Uh, coming at you against Burnley, four defeats on the spin. 17% uh, form for them. 19th in the table with four points uh, so far this season. Last round, though, at Turbmore was a 3-3 draw back in November 2021. Uh, Burnley did lose to Everton as well um, this past week in the Carabella Cup. They're out. But the odds for this one, we have Burnley 7-4 for the victory. 9-4 is the draw. 8-5 is your away win. Believe it or not, guys, going with Burnley on this one. 2-1 win. I love Roy and hopefully he can do us a, do us a favour as the next Rovers coach. But I just think Burnley will, get, will scrap for this one and, of course, keep company in a job. Next up, we have Everton against Brighton. Everton are on the, on the climb, I'd say, uh, right now. And, of course, into the uh, quarterfinals of the Cup. Played 12 times in 2017 but 6 wins for Everton. 4 wins for Brighton. 2 draws, of course. Biggest win for Everton. 5-1 win. They've got 23 goals in 12 matches, 1.92 goals a game. Up against Brighton, biggest win, 4-1 win. They've got 16 goals in 12 matches, 1.33 goals a game. Just one to be past five, though, for Brighton at the moment. 42% uh, form for them. They are down to seventh with 17 points right now. Up against Everton, 67% form for them. Four wins in the last six, looking pretty good. Uh, 15 for the table with 10 points on the board right now. Last time around, at Goodison Park, it was a 4-1 win for Brighton back in January 
2023. But the away side, uh, uh, well, actually, the home side hasn't won in the last five games. The last time the home side won was when Everton picked up a 4 2 win against Brighton. The odds right here right now, we've got 21 to 10 is your Everton here. We've got 13 to 5 is the draw, 6 to 5 is your away win. I am backing Everton to get something out of this. I'm going for a draw, but it could be more than that because they're playing good football in the minute, decent football. Things are starting to tick for Everton at the moment. Meanwhile, we are following against Manchester United coming at you early kickoff on uh, Saturday, November the 4th. Now, these two sides have played 36 times in 2001. We've got three wins for Fulham, 27 wins for United, and we've got six draws, of course. Biggest win for Fulham, 3-0 win. We've got 36 goals in 36, mix, 36 matches, of course. You could do the math on that one. Meanwhile, United, biggest win, 5-0 win. They've got 85 goals in 36 matches, 2.36 goals a game. 50% form, though, for United. Won three and lost three right now. Eighth in the table with 15 points on the board. Up against Fulham, 58% form for them, winning three of the last six. They're up to 14th with 12 points right now. Last time around at Craven Cottage, it was a 2-1 win for United. It won three on the bounce against Fulham. Unbeaten in the last six against them, picking up five wins and one draw. But the odds here for uh, a follow are 9-4 to four for the victory. 13-5 is draw. 23-20 is your away win. I'm, not, I'm backing it. I'm backing a draw here at least for Fulham on this one. They might even get more than that. And that could, if it is a defeat, could be it uh, for Ten Hag. I'm not saying that he's going to get fired, but uh, it's, it's the fans are not happy. Uh, they, you know, you're not getting a tune out of this team at the moment, and of course, Champions League. Well, Champions League round around the corner. I think staying in it is probably that might be the benefit, the, the, the real difference maker if he's going to get fired or not. So two two for me on this one. Uh, be my Luton Town against Liverpool coming at you at the uh, wherever that is, Kenilworth Road. This is on Sunday, uh, the 5th of November. Played each other three times in 2006. We've got nothing for Luton, two for Liverpool, one draw. Of course, uh, the Luton have come and with four goals in those three games. 1.33 goals a game. Up against Liverpool, biggest win, 5 0 win. They've got 11 goals in those three matches, 3.67 goals a game. They're on 92% form right now, Liverpool. Uh, fourth in the table with 23 points on the board. Four on the bounce, four wins on the bounce. Up against Luton, who are into 18th with five points on the board. 25% form for them right now, four games without a win. Last time around, of course, over at Kenilworth Road. It was a 1 1 draw way back in January 2008. Oh, wow, wow, wee, wow. Of course, it was a, a FA Cup tie. It was forced to replay, which, of course, Liverpool did spank him on the replay. I think I do remember that. I think Alonso scored a, a banger in one of those two games. Anyway, uh, of course, Luton Town, 10 to 1 for the victory, 5 to 1 to the draw, and 4 to 1 on is your Liverpool. They're going to win this one, aren't they? 4 0 win, comfortably done. And again, make it a push for maybe third, or if not more than that. Next up, we have City against Bournemouth, of course. Bournemouth still got Iriola at uh, the helm, I believe. Played each other 13 times down 15. Got 13 wins for City. No draws, no wins for Bournemouth. Of course, uh, b- biggest win for City. 4 0 win. They got 40 goals in those 13 matches. 3.08 goals a game. Up against Bournemouth, they scored 7 goals in those 13 matches. 0.54 goals a game. Just 1 win in 5, though, for Bournemouth at the moment. 33% form for them. They are 17th in the table with 6 points on the board. Up against City, 67% form for them right now. 3 wins on the bounce. Third in the table and 24 points on the board right now. Last time around, though, over at City Ground at the Etihad, it was a 4 0 win for City back in August 2022 but the odds right here right now we have got City coming at you at 10 to 1 on for the victory 10 to 1 is the draw 80 to 1 is your long shot so that's Bournemouth going to go with a 4 nil win here for, for, for City continuing where they left off and of course uh, making a push for top 2 uh, Snookast United up against Arsenal zinger zinger chicken dinner of course Arsenal under a bit of pressure here played to the 60 times in that we've got 11 wins for Newcastle 38 wins for Arsenal 11 draws of course biggest win for the Geordies 2 nil win uh, they got 43 goals in 60 games 0.72 goals the game. I guess Arsenal's biggest win for them, 5-0 win. They got 103 goals in 60 matches, 1.72 goals a game. 58% form though for Arsenal right now, just uh, three wins in the last six, second at the table and 24 points on the ball right now. Up against Newcastle are six with 17 points. They're on 67% form for them, just one defeat in the last six, of course. Last time around though, over at St. James's Park, it was a 2 win for Arsenal back in uh, May 2023. Of course, the odds here, we have Arsenal coming at you. Uh, 8-5, that's the away win. 9-5 is the home win. 11-5 is the draw here. Tight here. Good with a 2-2 draw point apiece and I think I think the Geordies will be happier than that than Arsenal then kicking off forward it's Forrest against Aston Villa coming at you at the City Ground on Sunday November the 5th now these two sides have played each other 17 times in 94 we've got 2 wins for Forrest 7 wins for Villa 8 draws of course biggest win for Forrest 2-0 win they've got 22 goals in those 17 matches 1.29 goals a game up against Villa 2-0 win their biggest also 30 goals scored in 17 matches 1.76 goals a game they're in 5th at the table right now are Villa with uh, 32 points of course 92% form for them winning 5 of the 
now six. I think that's Forest, of course, 33% form. For They're down to 60 for 10 points on the board. Four draws of the last six uh, for them heading into this. Last time around, over at the city ground, it was a 1 1 draw back in uh, October 2022. Villa are unbeaten against Forest over the last. Uh, six games, picking up four wins and a couple of draws, including one 5-5 five, five draw. Of course, the odds here, 60 to 5, is your first 11 forwards draw. 2017 on is, of course, your Villa. They are red hot to trot. 3-0 win for them. They're continuing where they left off. Kicking on forward then, we do have Sheffield United against Wolves. It's a must-win game for Heckenbottom. He's still in a job. Would you add him and leave it? Uh, played 36 times in 1995. We've got 10 wins for the Blades, 14 wins for the Wolves, and 12 draws, of course. Biggest win for Sheffield United, 3-0 win. They've got 41 goals in 36 matches, 1.14 goals a game. Up against Wolves, biggest win. 3-0 win, they've got 51 goals in 36 matches, 1.42 goals a game. Just one defeat in the last six, though, for uh, Wolves, 58% form. Uh, for them, they are 12th in the table, 12 points right now. Up against uh, Sheffield United, who are 20th with just one point. Six defeats on the spin, 12 uh, games without a win. And, of course, last time for each other, over at Bramall Lane, it was a 2-0 win for Wolverhampton back in September 2020. The odds here, 14-5, is your Sheffield United, 5-2, is a draw. Even Stevens is, is of course, your Wolves, is their favourite. Going to go with a 1-0 win, though, for Sheffield United. And, of course, that might give of Heckingbottom a stay of execution heading into a final week before the international break. Or is this the international? No, it's one more week. That's right. Spurs against Chelsea. Big zinger zinger. Check it in on Monday night. That's right. Monday the 6th of November. Play each other 72 times. I guess it's on a Monday because they're not in Europe. Play each other uh, 72 times since 1993. We've got 11 wins for Spurs. 39 wins for Chelsea. 22 draws, of course. Biggest win for Spurs. 2-0 win. They've got 78 goals in the 72 matches. 1.08 goals a game. I guess Chelsea, biggest win for them. 6-1 win. 140 goals scored in 72 matches 1.94 goals a game they're of course just one defeat now the last six for Chelsea 75% form for them 11th in the table with 12 points on the board right now up against Spurs four wins on the bounce 92% form for them over the last six they are top with 26 points on the board right now as well last time around at the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium it was a 2 win for Spurs back in February 2023 who were unbeaten uh, or did a double or unbeaten over them over the last uh, season uh, of course uh, Chelsea just the one loss at the last six against Spurs that was the most recent one as well the odds here though 11 and 10 are your Spurs of course, 5 to 2 to draw. 12 to 5 is, of course, your away when that is Chelsea. Going to go with a goal fest here. 3 2 in the end for Spurs. They'll take the three the points and, of course, keep, uh, keep things as they are, really. And, of course, that completes the pack for me in this week's Premier League, which, of course, will look like this. We have Spurs top of the table. We have City in second, Liverpool third, and Villa in the uh, European spots or Champions League spots, should we say. Then, of course, it's Arsenal down to fifth, Bournemouth, Luton Town, and then, of course, uh, Sheffield United going down. That's, of course, my picks. Don't forget your own pick with a super brew which should be back next time around and of course hopefully we'll be back in all its glory guys that's it of course make sure you smash the old subscribe smash your thumbs up smash the little bell your non-stop shop continues here at the Premier League right here at Black and Rose but until then I'm going to see you later for the next one until then we're done